Hey everyone, it's Meg. And me, Caleb. And wow, that was cute. Thank you. And I'm Ghostface. Thank you for being here. Be scared. Wow, so chill. Oh my gosh, and your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing. Turtle power. And we're going to watch Scream 4. Yeah! yeah. Um, we just watched a recap of Scream 1 through 3, mm -hmm. so the characters and events are fresh on our brain. Uh, we know this takes place... 15 years after and it came out 2011 which was 11 years after scream 3 so and 13 years ago yeah so we're really Crazy. excited we're here for a fun goofy time and hope you are too and in a silly goofy mood so let's yes, go yes let's go that's Hello? good oh hey pretty little Lars. who am i speaking to wrong number Iconic. <laughs> this must have been really fun to watch in the theater, like with everyone, because you've been waiting for so long. And it's so 2000. Theaters. 11. It sucks. <laughs> it's not scary. It's gross. I hate all that torture porn shit. They're making fun of themselves. <laughs> what were they? Sidekick. You hang up on me, and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. Who is it? It's for you. <laughs> no. Hello. It's a prank. Hang up. Why'd you give it to Why'd her? Why'd you give the phone to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love these opening scenes. They're always acted very well. Mm -hmm. That's what, and they choose an actress who's like up and coming and really good. And it's like taken just seriously enough, but sprinkled with enough satire yes. to make it just really unique. Yes. <laughs> no, don't open it. You're overreacting. Oh my God. But they're still dumbasses. Yeah. It's cool to see the technology evolve too. No, Sherry! That's a tree. Bro. I'm right beside you. Oh, shit! <laughs> Dude. Oh, God. So it's already oh, introducing shit. that. shit. Whoa, look at the blood. It's looking good. Good job, guys. Ugh. I hate it. It's great. Oh, oh. oh, that was so nice. Look who it is! It's Rogue. <laughs> yeah, and Kristen Chenoweth. I always <laughs> say that. What's her name? Kristen. Kristen Bell. Yeah, Gossip Girl. There's no element of surprise. You can see everything coming. Oh. Did that surprise you? <laughs> because you talk too much. <laughs> 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 oh, this is great. The original trilogy is based off of Sydney Prescott, but then she threatened to sue them if they used her story, so then they just started making stuff up. <laughs> that vibe has time travel, which is by far the worst. Nice. <laughs> Don't try to scare me. I'm not trying to scare you. You do it all the time. I must have left a window in my room open. Well, that's, that's cool design with all the butterflies. This is the last person you're ever going to see alive. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. But the window is open, and I think she'll get it. Get off in this. <laughs> Marnie? Who is this? Not an app. Yeah, it does sound like someone really copying him. Oh. Well. <gasps> oh, Marnie. Sprightly ghost face. Wow. Parkour. Whoa. Nice skipping, skipping all the steps. That's, 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 that's good. Good technique. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cool. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't like that because I had a surgery and my back was cut open oh, the same way. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is. No, not the garage. No. Wow, she's she's a fighter, though. She she's is. continuing to. Don't even press the button. Oh. Oh. I mean, would our garage even do anything? I don't think, I don't think a lot of garages would still hurt that bad, but ours is not anything. I loved that opening. Good job. That was probably my favorite opening. That was great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and they have like updated music. Yeah. 
but there's still the look the and vibe. the lighting like yeah, the, it's, it's like hyper bright I feel like yeah. that time movies were I like, have chills like I don't know it's just iconic I hope they don't lose their way Sydney Oh yeah <laughs> I love her and she's got her bangs again Yeah That's not very nice to her but she's Healing. No, I meant the display. Oh, it's uh, what's what's her face from um, New Aww. Girl? Oh, oh, she's a writer. Crazy Frog. <laughs> Dewey. Or is that it was Crazy Frog based on something else? <laughs> I know that as Crazy Frog. Oh yeah. Yay! Yay! I love the little toy car like the collectible mm -hmm. car on his he's side back table. to being a detective oh and his limp is gone sheriff wow he's the sheriff i would turn down the music and at least try it a, Just little. a little bit trevor called me last night why is he calling you? oh my god so trevor. many famous people emma roberts hayden panettiere she looks like a mom. Is she at Hayden Panettiere? Like she looks, she's it's giving mom vibes. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think I, maybe I, the mom friend of the group. Maybe like the 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 boss. Okay. The boss. Wherever she went, people died. Other people. It was never her. I love this this in in movies with three friends. Yeah. When they're it's just such a unique shot to those. The third friend. No one yeah, sits like, like in that the in the middle. A car. No, no one. The middle is the worst seat. <laughs> and you wouldn't sit there like leaning no. forward. I said, "Who is this?" Yeah, That's yeah. A question. Buckle, buckle, buckle up. your seatbelt. What? Marty the Carney. No, you're bothering me with your driving, girl. You just run a stop sign. It's a residential neighborhood. Like there could be kids, there could be pets, yeah. there could be an autistic child that runs. Sorry, child run. I'm serious. <laughs> what is funny about that? It's they literally just true. Said, it's no. just true. Yes, exactly. I was that yes. child. It's really hard to like keep them under control. You also babysit one like that. Mm -hmm. One generation's tragedy is the next one's joke. Yep, <laughs> it's true. Yes, Dewey. You know, I wish I'd been old enough to be a part of the force when you were solving those crimes. No, stop it. I know what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, he's he's aging like fine wine, for sure. You yeah. like that too. Yes, yeah, some oh, men just well, thank you. really, Aww. like, they settle into themselves as they get older. You're not cheating on your wife if you eat my lemon square. Fuck you, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't like those giggles. She looks a little scary. She could be scream. She could be ghost face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love making a prediction right off the bat and being so wrong. <laughs> Wings. I really. I mean, I like the green and tan. I think it'll be pop colors. I think it'll be Emma Roberts because she's been a bad guy a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna guess. Looking so pretty. Oh, I love her. Aww. I have no fucking idea what. Right. She's so real for that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Hall Pass with Robbie Mercer. Here with the luscious Olivia. Don't look at my tits. I have a mind more. Is I feel like in terms of feminism, it got worse. 2011 was fucking weird. It was, I imagine. A Culkin. Yeah, it was. It is. I mean, the youngest one? I think so. Like, not Rory? I think that is Rory Culkin. Succession? It sounds exactly like his voice. They look very similar, though. Oh. Oh, hi, Trevor. I'm kind of waiting for a couple as well. Like, a girlfriend, boyfriend, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But when you tell someone you love her, she gives you everything. Oh, in the middle of the hallway? Dude, that's not legal. You can't do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a serve 
a victim to survivor pipeline, which is like a, what a lot of traumatized people fall into. They think that they have to be an advocate mm. and they can't let go of that. Mm. Uh huh. Gail, this is police business. If you could just let us handle this. I'm talking to my husband, Deputy Judy. Deputy, Deputy Judy. <laughs> there. I just pictured that bald guy playing Darth Plagueis for a second as <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, he has a long hand, like a mune. Oh. Oh man. Step back. Please tell me this is a prank, dude. I'm afraid not, Sid. Back up on the curb, man. Come on. Celebrity victim. It's not oh fair, God. but it does feel like when you're the victim in a traumatizing situation, the lemon square. Yeah. Oh, she's eating them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, it feels like it follows you around, and sometimes like that victim mentality and like just being a traumatized person, it feels like it affects other people wherever you go. It's really sad. Interference yeah. with a police investigation poses many a problem in a court of law. Okay. This bitch. I don't mind that you're working with my so husband you navigate or that. that you even bake in those little treats. Oh, as you do. she knows. Uh, Judy. Gail. Oh. Would you please explain to Betty Crocker that I have every right to be here? I mean, she wants to be a part of the investigation, Sheriff. She was included in the trauma, so yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, and she was like yeah, essential literally. to saving and People, like surviving. Yes. But you're not a reporter anymore, Gail. And whoa, whoa, whoa. even if you were. Oh, don't treat me like I'm the media. I help solve these yes, things. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You that's what you said too. Yeah. Together. Uh-huh. But I'm the sheriff now, Gail. I like how their power dynamics change. Because he was like crushing on her initially. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'm going rogue. Yeah. What happened to the sheriff the first time, Dewey? Your lemon squares taste like ass. <laughs> They don't. They really don't. Why do you care about her feelings? Uh, yeah, what She's the being hell, a dude? bitch. Sorry. She's not a girl's girl. It's just not a good human thing to do no. to but mess it's also with not somebody's a good marriage. Girl's girl. like, yes, but yeah, I agree. He does. <laughs> men do that too. Yeah. A lot. Look, nobody thinks you're involved, but everyone's a suspect. Honey. Dude. 24 hour police surveillance. It's comforting. You're not helping her. No. I was like laying PR move, right? Well, fuck me well. Whoa. Best idea ever. Henry, I'll call you back. Like a earlier version of Gail. I have to geek out. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to say something earlier, but it's such an honor to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she's tired uh of it. Now, well, that's Gail Riley now. Oh, she took his last name. Kudos on being brave enough to drop off the professional map. Any plans on revitalizing your tarnished brand? Whoa. In about two seconds, I'm going to revitalize your You face are with my tarnished brand. Maidenless. Bitch. I still got it. Tarnished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You kind of ate with all the insults so far. Oh. She did. She's killing it. Yes. And I like that she doesn't lose her spark like that. You know, you don't have to give that up. Nope. I'm sus of everyone. Yeah. Too many. Except the core three. <laughs> Small town. Small town husband. Not much to write about. Oh. Oh, Dewey. Okay, Dewey. Just when you think things can't get any worse, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they get <laughs> Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, it's from her book. Aww. Turn young together. Yeah. Their relationship is cute. It is. We'll get through this too, okay? <laughs> he still has his quirky facial expressions. Yeah. I love him. He's trying his best. He's one of those guys, I think, that doesn't really get it with women who are being like that. Like, I feel like you you kind of were like that at the beginning, where you couldn't tell if someone was flirting with you. It's like a <laughs> oh, okay. traumatized individual. Relax, relax. You get kind of taken advantage of by the person. Yeah, because like, I'm just trying to like get through be the... Be nice and like the polite, yeah. Communication part. Right. I heard you got a phone call from the killer. Is that true? He's like a fanboy. He's just like Billy Loomis. I think they want us to think it's like Sydney and Billy again. Right, exactly. They trick us. 
I want an only. Sydney gets it. <laughs> You're smaller in person. Do you remember Billy sneaking in through her yes, window? Yes, yeah, out yeah, in yeah. The first one? Uh huh. Like, it was so weird. Just making my rounds before taking off. Great, thanks. Okay, she was my first guest for the killer, but oh it's probably God. trying to throw me off guard. We were in Peter Pan together. I played a lost boy. <laughs> She's so crazy. Judy! Yeah. Judy, why did you come talking through? Ah, it's so scary. <laughs> It'd be cool if there's one where there's like a bunch of tryhards who want to like replicate it and they all kind of try but fail to be Ghostface. Mm. And they're like killing each other at the same time. Yeah. Guess Just a bunch good. of ghost faces. Is that Adrian Brody? I think it is. She can live next door to me. Stop. Isn't she in high Creepy. school? You want to come up? The angel of death leave? Oh, she's in the guest room. They're calling her the angel of death. That's so oh, sad. Come on. It's kind of cool because I was a sophomore in 2011. So, like, I was a teenager in this time. The iPhones are, like, taking me back. What's your favorite scary movie, Olivia? It's the worst imitation I've ever heard, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> scary movie, again? Because I'm standing in the closet. Stop, you are not. Maybe her closet, the other one's closet. I would duck, open the door, go to the side. Okay, I would not stand. No. No, don't do that. It's in the Kirby. other closet. It's in the other closet. No. <laughs> Police? Oh. No, br no, girl, no. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she supposed to have surveillance? Oh my god. This would be cool Halloween horror night. Uh, Intestines. That's probably the most gruesome scene we've seen so far. Like this tableau. Yeah, it's a lot of blood. She said you were the angel of death. Oh. I fucking love Sydney. Yeah. There's something so satisfying about watching her. And she's so fight. strong yeah. too. She thinks quickly and like Yeah. Watch him be Ghostface just because he's like the most obvious. Yeah, he's the most obvious and he definitely could have because we've seen them interchange, but yeah. I don't know. And I circled around to cut him off. Why didn't you call and and I met Haas coming from the other direction. Yeah, no, he must have circled back around somehow. He's like a ghost. Oh Come on, God. guys. He might have to put his foot down, though. He, I think he's gonna. I think he's being pushed around a bit. I think cops I should be he, forced to do parkour. They need to do more training. Obviously, they were doing crosswords, and it's like so intense. Like they, they have to be able to they navigate their surroundings enough. extremely quickly. It could like, also put them in serious yeah. parkour classes. What if we could catch the killer by working together? They're sus too. Yeah. Yeah, the two of them, of course. What would you say? I love you. Very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Sydney. Ooh, ow. Anyway, uh, long story short, ooh, Randall ow. wants to lock you into three <laughs> anyway. more books now. See the blank line in your contract? She just saw someone disemboweled, bitch. Did you read my book? I thought I'd wait for the movie. No. I won't be needing you anymore. Good job, Sydney. Nice. Fired. Fired. She has some non-negotiable boundaries now. And as I resolve my own trauma, it's very important because it's like it, if you make deals and promises to your inner child, like the one that was traumatized, like you're not going to accept behavior and treatment like this. Oh, she's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like very healing. Like she's just like, no. I love it. Yeah. I'm not gonna sacrifice my values. That's a valid question. She it knows is. It and she knows it. Oh no. Rebecca, it doesn't sound to me. Oh. Just, oh. 
too late. Open the door and bitch. That's why everybody needs to do more parkour. Oh, no. Why they not? keep zooming on the shoes. Like something's gonna happen with the shoes. Like ankles or something? Like cut an ankle? Yeah, maybe he's under the car. They're under the car. Ghostface yeah. is non-binary. Right, right. Gender fluid. I do kind of love that. Ghostface and like this. Oh. Black and white when everything else is bright and colorful. Doing these grotesque things in a n suburban neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Be faster, barefoot. Yep. I was just thinking that. Ugh. Oh. <gasps> Oh, romantic. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is an ongoing investigation. Okay. That one seemed kind of scared a little bit. Like, yeah. I think there might be a very aggressive one and then like a more hesitant. Panicky one. Yeah. But also it was like right by her face. These killings seem to resemble the pattern of the original Woodsboro murders. Pun? Like, no, she's a journalist. So we are very close to bringing this whole situation under control. No, you're not. Oh. Oh. But he's traumatized too. You know, this is right. like his worst nightmare. And he wants to feel competent. Yes, like, because this shit is insane. Because so, he's like, hearing things that she's not saying. Yeah. Coming from her mouth. Yeah, yeah. Ten years of marriage. It's all under control, huh, Sheriff? Oh. What am I supposed to say? But I happen to have a lead, and you don't. <laughs> so let me know when you're back on Team Gale. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and see, he hears that, and he's like, she thinks I'm incompetent. Like, yeah, you're exactly. Telling me I'm not capable. And he's always, and like, I love his character. It's such good writing because he's always been worried about being yeah. seen as incompetent. Like, that's his insecurity. I also love her bright pink in a sea of like gray and professional garb. You film your entire high school experience and what, post it on the net? Everybody will be doing it someday, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fact, the only surefire oh, way to survive so a modern horror movie. Remind me of Yennefer. You pretty much have to be gay. So why are you so sure that- Oh, he scooted away! It's Friday. I'm sure we're not the only party that's going on in Woodsboro. Okay, where is this circle jerk going to take place? <laughs> I fucking love her. People staring at you all the time. Try not to think about me. I really hope you never have to find that out. But I think she should also learn to, like, live for her. You know, and not just focus on other people. And I think she might get some relief from like mentoring her niece or cousin. I forget who it is. I think it would be cousin. Yeah. Um, because it's but, her aunt's kid. Yeah, because I haven't really seen her interact with a younger girl who was like in her shoes. You know, like that kind of mentorship and teaching and connection can be helpful. She probably hasn't had allowed much connection in her life, period, so... Yes. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have a boyfriend or husband that yeah. we know of. That's not nice. Someone was disemboweled, like, yesterday. Gail, I mean, she's doing what she's got to do, She can fucking fight and... She said she's going rogue, okay? Yeah. She knows how to infiltrate. She's yes. a, She's an agent. She's, like, she's she's the wild card. But, like, if the wild card knew what it was doing. He's so creepy. Uh, she's responsible. for she, 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 She's done so much. So much. And she's really grown as a person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's she's got to have more eyes. She's she's just one person. Yeah. Team Gale, bitches. Oh. Uh -oh. So is it the two guys? They're so sus. Oh. How meta can you get? How what -a can you get? I don't know. I heard him say it. <laughs> yeah. That's why they're in love. That's why they're soulmates. <laughs> well, I thought you were going rogue, Gale. No! Join Come Team on, Gale! Dewey. Nice. Good move having it behind you. Mm -hmm. I feel like she, she kind of feels that Dewey yeah. is watching. 
Okay, yeah. Dale! Dale behind you! Yes. Nice! Oh, always the arm. Yeah, use the hail bales. Yeah, hail bales. Hail bales. <laughs> use the hail bales. <laughs> nope. Yeah! Oh, she's awesome, too. Oh, Dewey. No. Where was that? In her shoulder. Okay. Ow. Come on, Dewey. You're a bad shot, dude. What the hell? How often do you go to the range? Oh, my God. You weren't Team Gale. <laughs> He's making the movie. Oh. oh. Nope. Like, what if there's a whole, like, crew and, but it's, like, real life, you Yeah, know? yeah. Sucks to be a cop in a movie, unless you're Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, Not like... Not all cops die in movies. <laughs> if it's your last day before retirement, you do. Yes, exactly. Yeah. He's sleeping. <gasps> no! <laughs> Look on your face, rookie. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I hated that. How are you walking right now? Your friends will I know, right? Fuck Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these are these movies are the best cuz they're so funny but so gruesome. Don't you want to take the tea back oh, out God, before you water. drink it? Your one and only skill, you survive. One only skill? <laughs> oh, she probably just left. Like, she probably just didn't like being in a cell and just left. Yeah. Oh. What a shot that was cool whoa where's it from the bottom nice shoe shoes oh oh, oh man oh my shit. god through the mail hole no Come on, dude. Stop killing people. Just why do you gotta be killing it's people? It's two of them, right? It has to, or did he run around? <laughs> what are you doing? I just saw somebody coming around the side of the house. I love that ghost face costume too, because you can take it off so fast. Yeah. You know? It's like a robe and a mask. I would stay away from that if you're not ghost face. Maybe step back from the male thing. Yeah. Oh, oh Ayo. No more on your own. It's you and me, forever. One, two, three. Oh, God. Promise me something. Anything. Get that son of a bitch. Catch that motherfucker. That reminds me of my aunt. Oh. <laughs> it's the false ending, new rules. Exactly. Oh, no. Uh, Who played Leatherface first? Gunnar Hansen. But you don't be the three of them. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Jesus Christ, where'd you come from? The front door. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> the front door. <laughs> We're gonna go scary. Soft work. Ugh, I saw that in theaters. It sucks. It's not scary. What are you doing, dude? They, Stop. I mean, they could be a couple. Like they, Kirby and the other one could be a couple, and he's like stealing mm, stuff. Mm. I try not. I try to enjoy the ride, but then I just it start is fun predicting. to theorize. Yeah, sorry. But I don't know. I think that fucking Judy could have been calling to throw him off of it. There is a good chance that Charlie Walker, yes, my Charlie Walker, may get lucky with a girl. Oh, I think, do you love Charlie? Oh. I think he loves Charlie. And that's why he's drinking right now. Because he sees Charlie flirting with somebody. Oh, Caleb, I love that. I hope that's true. <laughs> 
and I he's been acting like a little extra homophobic. Like, yes, and and that's like closeted, especially twenty eleven. Hypersexual, like yes, he's even said for yeah. it. Oh, so he's coping. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, did did you see Jill come in? Did I just interrupt something right here? Oh uh, my god. <laughs> No. Run, 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 Oh, shit. That was a fast one. No. I'm gay. I'm gay. Good job. I knew it. Oh. That's sad. Damn. What do you mean, where is he? He just went upstairs looking for you. It's Trevor. Just like the most obvious. Did he just? Oh, maybe he just like put a thing on just to kill him. But what? Mm. It's just I need you to come with me. Come with me right now, okay? Oh, he's still walking. <laughs> I love how all of them keep run. Going. <laughs> they keep oh, going. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I am so proud of you for catching that. Oh, thank you. I did not. You okay? Jill, run, just keep running, get help. Smart, 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 smart. Nice. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, she's been here before. She betrays her. Maybe. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, oh. oh not oh, this. I remember God. this. They didn't they do a similar thing in the last one? This is for the or the second first one, one I think. Oh, okay. Because he tied the boyfriend up. Yeah. And she was like, he was like, go look at it. yeah. Don't massacre last house on the left or psycho. Psycho. None of the above. I don't know any of these. Tongue, 1960, directed by Michael okay. Powell. Why you can't give? God damn. Who's right? Right. Uh oh. Okay, I'm pretty um, sure in a quiz. What is happening? I know this is very confusing. Unless it's Jill, that would be that would be huge because I never would have thought it would be Jill. Uh oh. Did you think it was? Maybe he was testing her. Yeah. Yeah. This is making yeah. a move. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Four years of classes together. You notice me now? Oh. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. Why'd you kill your friend? <sighs> Why'd you kill your friend? He's probably the real. He's probably he. He might be. I don't know. Jill, it better not be you two. Don't stand at the top of the stairs, Sydney. Oh my god. Think anyone gets away? <laughs> oh my god! I really didn't. Oh no. That's a that's a shorter one. Judy. Oh yeah. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Sydney. You. I knew predicted it. Predicted that one. I know, just because she's the bad guy so often. I know. And I don't like, really like watching her because she actually is like a villain IRL. Yeah. Oh my Surprise god. Me. I have no footage of my Robbie kill better than Jenny and Marty or Olivia even. Oh. Wait, this actually really fucking. Yeah. Go on and put it on video even. So who killed your mom? Did you kill your mom? I, yeah. I am not. The girl you cheat on. Oh, and these are the and characters. Dick. Oh my god! Ah, yeah, uh, you're amazing. You're the perfect victim. Ew! Uh. So believable today, wasn't I? I mean, I told so many lies that I actually started to believe them. I really think that I was born this for this. Like the only. Ah! This is like the only character she yeah, plays. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you have to be strong and hold still. She's gonna kill him. Oh, they're... Oh, they have to do... Yeah. Shoulder me. Shoulder me. Shoulder me. Get it up! Oh, in the heart? But the media really loves baby. As a sole survivor. Just ask you now who. Even your friends. Yeah, and your mom. Jeez. I mean, for fuck's sake, my own mother had to die. No great loss there, so I could stay true to the original. You had your 15 minutes. Now I want mine i mean what am i supposed to do go to college grad school work <laughs> you could use you could stream but this oh 
But not the heart. She said blaming it all on Trevor. Oh, okay. Wow. I love that that's what we turn away from. I know, but it's like even, I don't know, something about scratching and biting in movies really freaks me out. Yeah. This too, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. Girl. You could do like other stuff, have other stuff happen. She is like really sick in the head though and wants to be Sydney, so she wants to like suffer a little bit, I think, too. Okay. There are better ideas out there. Oh my god. Damn. What? That's a scary person right there. Yeah. That is. But it's like believable. I don't yeah. know why. I mean, there are people that will go to these. Yes, exactly. To... That's why I'm like, it's it's exaggerated. But they're like kids were eating Tide Pods. It's like the ultimate Munchausen's. Yeah. Is, is your wife? She's going to be fine. If I ever write a book one day, I'd, I'd want her to write it with me. We'd be a good team with our matching wounds and all. Come on, Dewey. Survivors, no. Oh my god. You see it. I just wish Sydney was too. This might be my favorite one. They're not sure yet. It's still touch and go. This is so good. I love her red eye, though. I, I, I want to see her. She's not awake yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yep, now she's gonna go try to. Oh, I hate that. Her. As someone who had many IVs, yeah, I've in never my life. been that hooked up to stuff. It'd be hilarious though if like Deputy Judy like saved the day or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. was that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna find? Okay, so she's. Is this in what ICU. got her like uh -oh. centuries of Ryan Murphy American Horror Story roles because of this movie? Probably. Yeah. She thinks you guys should write a book together with your matching wounds. Is she gonna figure it out? How did she know I was too? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. That's why you need to work together, guys. Shit. Team Gil Dewey. Okay, Dewey. Yeah. In her wound. How are those stitches? Oh my god. Oh no, is Dewey gonna get stabbed again? He's bonked on the head. Oh. Whoa! Jesus. Gail? Dewey! What about the book? <laughs> yes! I think I just Oh, you called it! You called it! You called it! Oh my god! Oh, okay. Don't do anything stupid. Oh. Don't fucking tell me what to do. I'm so afraid of her. She's so scary. Like, not even Gail can, like, win her over with, like, the book thing. I'm gonna enjoy blowing your head off. Have one final word? Clear. 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 <laughs> you forgot the first rule of remakes, Jill. Don't fuck with the original. Yeah! <laughs> oh. What hit me? <laughs> Don't ask. A, a, hit me. a bowl? What was it? Like an <laughs> aluminum bowl? No! A a Here we pan. go again. A bedpan. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that she always knows now. Yep. Nice one. Oh, she's oh, okay. Yay. Oh, wear the vest. Save your chest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know about you, but I feel a whole lot better. A girl who's lifted all our spirits tonight. An American Oh, hero. because they are going off of what happened at the... Other house, okay. They yeah, they like go, yeah. 
I really like that one. That was great. Yeah, I think that was one of my favorite ones. Maybe like I still love the original, but like maybe my second favorite. I really liked it. It's a great reboot. And it tricked sure. me. I'm glad it tricked me. Yeah, me too. But you, it's just so funny that you kind of said like Emma Roberts always plays a villain. And yeah. So you kind of predicted that. I was just like, I'm going to go out on a limb here and yeah. just say it's going to be her. <laughs> and isn't it so funny that I was saying stuff like, well, I think in her healing journey, she needs to mentor a younger version of herself and I think it's just, it's hilarious, but it's also kind of relevant because I feel like Scream 4 is the one that ushers us into this new age of live streaming and YouTube and, and recording everything and, you know, kids being on their phone all the time and adults being on their phone all the time. Yeah. Um, but then also, you know, it's not, it's, it's never going to look like this wholesome healing thing. Like Sydney saying, like, I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better. She shot her cousin, you know, and like, it's not going to go the exact right wholesome way. Yeah. Um, and then also, I don't, I don't know. It just was cathartic for me, I think, because if you know, like, I feel like this was a great female ghost face. Yeah. Because I think they were trying to do it in a way that people wouldn't predict. And it was like crazy, but you know, even though it was exaggerated, it was believable. Yeah. And because Emma Roberts can play that type of character really well, but also like it tricked us a lot, but also gave us clues. Because remember, the window was open. She left, and it just it it <laughs> it. I feel like it left a lot of clues without making it super obvious. Because there were a lot of distractions as well, yeah. and it was really purposeful. Um, and I think it's like saying something about like a lot of horror movies will just put things in like jump scares and stuff just to have them in there yeah and it's it just fooled me it fooled, it fooled me us. it really and it, it was really, fun. like it was and i and i loved that it was it was just one of those that is fun to try to predict but you just can't and you can't and you have to accept at some point you're you just can't predict it anymore like honestly it's funny because it's like usually your first guess yeah. And then you are tricked so much you don't believe it. And then there comes a point where you're just like, okay, let me just enjoy the ride because I have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm glad that they could keep that up for four movies already because yeah. like, how like, do I they won't keep get tired of it. it. Yeah. No. I know. And that and, was, wow. And none of the movies have been bad. None no. of them. No. I think they're visually very well done. Um, I think, like, you know, in 2011, around this time, it, it just cinematography kind of goes downhill i think because of cgi and like i'm not really sure what happened but i love that this looked really good the shots all looked really cool and really good and um like you were talking about the brightness of suburbia and um their their outfits and and yeah like the literal gamma and brightness being lit up and you know some pop music playing after this horrible kill like it's all on purpose it's it's but it's also fun. It's like a fun slasher. They're fun, like relics of their specific times. But yes. it's also cool to see these characters. Like, yes, a lot of a lot of parts of them have evolved. I love having them as I get older as well because it's like, yeah, we are still still have a lot of the same quirks and a lot of the same flaws and strengths. Yeah. And it's just it's cool to see older versions of these characters. Like, yes, their circumstances may have changed a little bit, but mm -hmm. like your, I don't know, your past and your, like who you are, you can't really run from who you are. Yeah. You, and it's also just like, okay, well, how do you embrace all of this stuff that happens to you without it being ending. like a performative right. thing? And it, yeah, it's, it's, and it's it was tough. thrown, it was taunted and like kind of rubbed in her face by Jill you know, like all you do is survive, but she was jealous. Like yeah. she was deeply envious and wanted her life. And, yeah. and I love, I think the ending was different for me and I liked it because it was very abrupt and they still had the fun, like getting back up and shooting again like that. But also I, I just, Sydney being like, I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better because <laughs> she's owning it. 
you know, she she's just like, yeah, I just survive and I'm still figuring it the fuck out. But like, you'll never be me, girl. And like, she just like lays down next to her. I just think it, it was exactly like you said, like she's kind of owning it and being like, whatever. Even Dewey kind of owning like I'm the one who gets hit in the head with a bedpan. And, <laughs> like maybe I do They're need to like... listen to my wife and not pretend to be. I don't know. It's just like a constant reassessing and. I love the catharsis of these slasher movies because there's like comedy and then also it's like a an older murder mystery trope in there. But then you have like modern day music and um, and then even like the, like the, the guy being Bruce gay. Will- Willis. Yeah. Ex- yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes. That, that like slasher fun. theme is, is universal and it carries right. through the decades. But like. We didn't even know that that character was gay until they until he said so, yeah, and and, and and maybe it's like commentary on also like like how to do representation in I movies know. as well because like yes there is that that trap of like forcing representation and it like it doesn't need to be <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just like funny how it's like well no they it like shouldn't like it shouldn't make a in difference like one. your your sexuality yeah, no, you're or like die. your I said in, in Assassin's Creed or, like, yeah. Or if you're a woman tropes, or not, yeah. I said in Assassin's Creed, it's more feminist to kill a woman yeah. because I was I was defending killing a woman because if I was Ezio and I was only murdering men, that's more sexist than to kill indiscriminately. <laughs> so that's exactly yes. like it's it sounds absurd, but I, I totally get what you're saying. It's like no, you know she's a crazy bitch. You can call her a crazy bitch, like. She's, she's and then he was a, and she wants Charlie was a dumbass. Trevor was a dumbass. Like, yeah. you know, it just it's I think it's like so self-aware that it makes it cathartic and fun and funny. But in the second movie, they did go through like, OK, like the black person dies first or, you know, yeah, they were the, like the saying tropes all those are tropes. still there, but yeah. it's like it, it it's just aware and it's hitting it, and innovation is important, but it's also like like important in art to like point to. The things that inspire you and it's just like yeah all the i, I don't know i just think it, it, it's saying a lot i in in like a little fun satirical horror exactly film. and i think you we'd probably get more the more that we watch um but it was so fun like that was just just fun fucking horror movie like, yeah it was that's, great as some like i really feel like horror is for people who are like traumatized especially if it's like repeated trauma and childhood and stuff like I'm realizing the value in horror and monsters and stuff because it's just a way for us to figure things out and yeah, um, there's more to be found for... and catharsis and um, I'm really appreciating that and exploring this genre. So thanks for encouraging us to watch this one again and get back on the horse because it had I I really loved that and especially at this time in my life I really appreciated yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Loved but, it. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. If you would like to uh, support us, to go above and beyond to support us, that membership is available to you. Um, You can just press play and watch it with us. It's an unedited watch along. Otherwise, thank you so much for just watching this and supporting us. Um, And we hope you have a wonderful Halloween and drink water. Yes, take care of yourselves. Like yeah. the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, go go have a wonderful, stay warm, en- enjoy your life, and Bye. don't get stabbed, please. Okay, yes. Bye-bye. Bye.